Have you ever seen a news headline like this? A man has gone missing. He was last seen around 7 pm near the railway station. Investigators jump into action. They talk to the people, check the CCTV footage, and try to answer where was he just before he disappeared. Maybe someone saw him at 6.55 pm near a cafe. Another one at 6.58 pm near a bus stop. They don't know where he was exactly at 7 pm. But they can predict where he was heading. That my friends is what limit in mathematics are all about. Predicting the value of a function at a point based on the behavior of that function near to that point. A limit helps us understand what value a function is approaching, even if we don't know what happens at the exact point. It's like being a math detective. Even when a value is missing or undefined, we look at the values around it to uncover the mystery. Let's say you're walking toward a wall. Each step you move halfway closer. First 1 meter, then 0.5 meter, then 0.25 and so on. You never quite touch the wall, but you are getting closer and closer. We say limit of your distance from the wall is zero. Even though you never reach it, the value is clear. You are approaching zero. Now let's look at this function f of x is equal to x square minus 1 by x minus 1. Now what happens to the function at x is equal to 1? We replace x with 1. We see 1 square minus 1 by 1 minus 1, which is 0 by 0. Oh, that is indeterminate. Not just undefined, but a real mystery. It's like in our missing person case. Two people give two different reports about where he was at 7 pm. Contradictory information equivalent to missing fact. That's exactly what 0 by 0 is. It doesn't make sense on its own. We need more clues. Let's investigate values near at x equal to 1. This table shows how the values of a function changes as x gets closer to 1. This is the value of x and this is f of x and in between I have plotted values for x square and x square minus 1 and here x minus 1. We approach x equal to 1 from two sides. From values greater than 1 like 1.9, 1.5, 1.25 and from values less than 1 like 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.9 etc. Let's start from the top values greater than 1. At x equal to 1.9 the function value is 2.9. At x equal to 1.5 it's 2.5. At x equal to 1.25 it becomes 2.25. Then at x equal to 1.1, it's 2.1. And very close to x equal to 1, the function value is 2.001, almost 2. Now from the downside, values less than 1. At x equal to 0.1, the function value is 1.1. Moving closer to 1, we see the values go up 1.5, 1.9, getting nearer and nearer to 2. So from both sides, as x approaches 1, the function values get closer and closer to 2. That's why we say in beautiful mathematical language, the limit of fx as x approaches 1 is 2. Even though f of 1 does not exist, the limit helps us uncover the missing value. Imagine it's morning. At 6 a.m., 
it is 14 degrees centigrade outside 6 30 a.m it is 16 degrees centigrade 6 55 it's 16.5 degrees centigrade and 6 59 a.m it is not at 16.9 degrees centigrade we don't have that at 7 a.m but we know the temperature is approaching 17 degrees centigrade this is another example of a limit predicting the value by looking just before the point limits are everywhere in calculus they help us find instantaneous speed understand slopes of curves define derivatives and integrals model real life problems in physics economics and engineering without limits modern math simply wouldn't work let's sum it up limit is what a value is approaching indeterminate that is zero by zero is a missing or unclear fact limit solves the puzzle by checking values around the point it's just like solving a case even without the main clue we piece together what's really going on i hope you enjoyed this mystery filled introduction to limits if you did give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and share it with your fellow maths detectives and remember don't study maths learn and enjoy it see you next time